all get close to that giant breeze. Lampity flippers. The current's too strong to swim out of. <laughs> We're going to crash. Two crashes in one day. That's a new record, Muriel. There's something on the other side. Everyone, sideways formation. Shiver me whiskers. A hidden lagoon. The reef makes a ring all around it. Follow the river to the secret ring. That means... This must be it. The secret manta ray feeding ground. But I don't see any manta rays. The big feast must be over. Or maybe it's just beginning. It's like a manta ray whirlpool. That's how we manta rays eat when we all get together. Now these are some good shots. Uh, my camera. Yeah, it's going too fast. Here, hop on, champs. Now let's get that camera. <laughs> Almost have it. Oh. Down there. Look out! Careful where you're going. Oh dear, leave it to Muriel. This is starting to get a little rough. We need to hurry. Oh, oh, oh. Dashi, are you okay? I'm fine, but we have to help the others. What about your camera? I'll leave it. My friends come first. Uh, uh, Dashie, now for Quasi and Peso. Yeah. Ooh. Yow. Peso, Quasi, grab on. <laughs> grab on? Grab on to what? Ah! No! No! Should have seen that coming. Now let's get out of here. The only way out is up. Muriel, you'll have to leap over the reef. Uh, I'm not very good at leaping. We'll help you. First, you've got to dive down to build up speed. OK, here goes. Now, up to the surface, fast. <laughs> Muriel, what's the matter? I just thought we might like a picture or two. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks. I've got an idea for a great one. Here we go. Muriel? I guess I'm not so bad at leaping after all. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, chaps. Now that's a photo fit for the cover of National Geographic. <laughs> oh, thanks, Muriel. Did you get Muriel's good side? That's the side I'm on. No, that's the side I'm on. The only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean. So that was you! The light of the pirate moon made it look like it! Do I care what it looked like? No! What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground, and we want you gone! Ha! I don't want your food, matey! I want the sword of the pirate king! And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates! And uh, you, my friend, don't know much about swordfish, or you would think twice about fighting us. We live by the sword. We use it for swimming fast, slashing at our food, and defending ourselves. Aha! Three against one, eh? Just the way I like it. <laughs> Oh no, you don't! Guess I'm 
Just too quick for you fishies. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Come and get me. <laughs> Just regular salt fish, but we can heat up our eyes. It helps us to see better in the dark waters. It's working. My paws are getting warmer. Now let's get you out of there. Quasi! Captain! Grab hold of the tow line! Fish! Tight. You almost have them, matey. They can't get away from us now. <gasps> uh, we may have a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. Oh! <laughs> and look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin. I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts. We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but, Captain, what about the professor's book? Hi, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed. But first, our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Hey, so we've brought back a flying fish who needs your help. Aye, Captain. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Now, what seems to be the trouble? It's me tail fin. You need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, it feels better already. You should stay here and rest a bit before you take off again. Okay. Thank you. Captain, the flying fish will be able to fly again in no time. Ooh, flying fish. That must be the remarkable thing that my great-grandfather saw. I'll add that to his book right away. You tell him. No, you tell him. <sighs> uh, well, Professor, we sort of lost the book. <gasps> 
You lost it? But... but how? A school of flying fish came leaping out of the water, and before you could say Davy Jones's locker, they took off with your book. Oh, dear. I see. It's gone. But we'll get it back for you. On my honour as an octonaut, we will. We're almost to the rock where my friends are trapped. <gasps> there it is. The blob. That's the blob, me hearty. It's a puny little thing. Yeah, but one blob can become two blobs. And two blobs can become four blobs. <laughs> That's how it gets so big. Look! Flappity flippers. That's where my friends are trapped. Barnacles to Shellington. Shellington here, Captain. Have you ever heard of creatures that can split in two and make copies of themselves? Why, yes, Captain. Those are aggregate anemones. Aggravating enemies? No, no, no. Aggregate anemones. They can make lots and lots of copies of themselves. And when two groups of these anemones meet, they fight over space. They have special stingers for attacking each other. No! 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 Uh-oh! Uh -oh. It's hit the Octo Alert! Octonauts, are you all right? Captain, we were just attacked by... Oh, no! The radio's broken! Mm. Vanilla kelp pudding. Mm. Delicious. We've lost contact with the octopod. Ah! I bet these anemones are trying to take over the octopod just like they took over this rock. Hmm. Dashi said they were under attack. We need to get back there right away. Uh, don't leave me here alone. We won't. Peso, stay here with our crab friend, but don't move. Quasi and I will be back as soon as we can. Yes, Captain. Quasi, let's go. Into the gut. Don't worry. We'll help your friends just as soon as the captain gets back. <laughs> oh, no. They're making more copies of themselves. Oh my, there's a different group of anemones on the other side of the rock. Ooh. Hello, a sailfish. We were wondering if you could help us find our missing ships. Sorry, fellas, but we're in a hurry. We're following the sardines up the coast. Ah, oh, forget about these slow coaches, Captain. Uh, slow coaches? I just don't think they're fast enough to help us. I suppose you're right, Quasi. They probably couldn't keep up with the guts anyway. Good one, Captain. Now they want to prove how fast they are. Couldn't keep up? You've got to be kidding. We're the fastest things in the whole ocean. We'll find those ships. Grab under those sails, guys. Let's go. Fast enough for you back there. Ha 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 ha! matey! Ha! I like this guy. There they are, straight ahead. Follow those gups. We better 
to split up and herd them into a tighter group. Excellent job. Now aim for the smart gut boxes. Things are quicker than they look. Yeah! She's getting away! If we don't stop it now, we might never see it again. Not on my watch! Yeah! <laughs> Quasi. We'll stop him up ahead. Stop him? How are you gonna... Captain, look out! Now! Driving back there. Thanks. Octonauts, we've got to get back on board the Octopod. Yuck! More algae. Wazi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Gup A to Octopod. Gup A to Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Professor Inkling, this is Captain Barnacles. Can you hear me? Please come in. Got A2 Octopod. Is anyone there? Come in. Hmm, now, where are my books about algae? I know they're here somewhere. No one's answering. That's odd. I was just talking to the professor a few minutes ago. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's taking a nap. Ah, if it's not the Professor, then who steered the octopod? <gasps> ah, here we are. Algae. Uh -huh. Lots of algae. Uh -huh. Lots and lots of algae. Captain Barnacles, if I can just get close enough, I think I can grab the octopod. Go for it, Tweak. Gotcha! Bullseye! Woohoo! Well done. <laughs> We've got to get back on board the octopod. Are you with me, Quasi? Aye, matey. Hey, so you drive. Me? Ooh. Aye, aye, sir. Octonaut, let's do this. Octo hatch. Professor Inkling could be in trouble. Yeah. All about algae. Everything about algae. Everything else about algae. Ah. She won't open. Let me try. 
sometimes it takes some polar bear strength. Combined with some cat-like quickness. Ha! To get the job done. Hey! I still can't tell what they are for certain. They don't seem to be moving. Then let's get a little closer. Closer. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! Dashie, put us in reverse and pull away. I'm trying, Captain, but something's got us. Oh. Oh. Switch to steering wheel mode now. Ah. Must break free. Ah. Oh. oh, dear. Ow! Ow. What? Shiver me whiskers. Lapperty flippers. It's no good, we're held tight. Dashy, lights, let's see what's got us. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> it's an enormous eye. Those itty bitty lights around my eye fooled you, didn't they? You didn't know they belonged to big old me. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once. No. Whoa. I grab it, I keep it, you weird looking squid. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonaut, to the HQ. Any idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal uh, squid. It's like my cousin, the giant squid, only oh, bigger. It's uh, the biggest squid in the ocean. I wish it would stop shaking us. No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing. Yeah, he'll crush the octopod. Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweet. I've got just the thing, Cap. Wearing this tentacle suit, Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Whoa! I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent. Activate tentacle suit. <laughs> Twist to the side. <laughs> now down. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> You're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor. Ugh, oh my! I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us. Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles. Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him. Almost there. Just a few more twists and turns, and we'll be in it. Ah! <gasps> Ink Cloud, a classic move from the Squid Playbook. Oh no, I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right, eat my ink. <laughs> I'm taking you down, way down. I'm afraid he's hooked us. Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Oh, these are the cliffs. And that is an egg. There you are, nice and safe. Oh, a cute egg. Kind of looks like that one. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Well, that was easy. Any others around? There's one. That manta ray is eating everything in sight. Activating booster pack. Easy peso. Flippers down. Lead with the beak. Got it! Sorry, manta ray. You'll have to snack on something else. That's not very nice, is it? Let's get you back to your dad. You found an egg, Junip. Let's see. 
Oh, Tunip, that's a pebble. <coughs> Keep trying. <laughs> Here you go. Three eggs, safe and sound. <coughs> I think he said that's Joseph, Josephine and Judith. <coughs> Captain, three eggs have been returned safely to the jawfish's mouth. Well done. Thanks, Shellington. One, two, three, seven more to go. Captain, I've reached the geezers. Whoa! Aha! Gotcha! Hello, mateys. Captain, I've rescued two eggs. Good work, Quasi. And I'm about to snag a third. Yes, you are. Special egg delivery. Say, ah. Uh... Tunip, did you find one this time? <coughs> oh, no, that's a seashell. <coughs> Captain, we found three more eggs. And I found two. That's eight altogether. I'll keep searching for the other two, but the current has loosened up the rocks. Whoa. So it might get tricky. Almost close. Whoa. Nearly. Oh! Bingo! <laughs> Time to take you home. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. <laughs> Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope. Must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy. We have to get him back into water fast. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. I can't quite reach his tail. You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha.
Keep it up, everyone. We just have to keep these gulls busy until all the baby turtles are in the ocean. Huh? <sighs> oh, me, oh, my. One of the baby turtles is going off course. Captain, it's your octocompass. Huh? Baby turtles use light to find their way to the water. The light bouncing off your compass must be confusing him. Keep the gulls away from him! Ha-ha! <laughs> Leave that to me, Captain! Yow! Feeding time, gulls! Take the biscuit! Ha! <laughs> Woo! Take that! I'm sorry, little turtle. I didn't mean to confuse you. Hmm. <laughs> there sure are a lot of not turtles on this beach. Oh, so it's you again. Don't worry, I've got you, little matey. Be careful, Quasi. His shell's not fully hardened yet. Then I'll call you... Soft shell. Good name, but could you please put me down? I want to get to the water all by myself. That's what we turtles do. There you go, soft shell. Just a little further. Thanks. Now no more helping me. I'm almost... <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Captain, that seagull's getting away with soft shell. Tweak, follow that bird. We're hot on his tail feathers, Cap. If I'd known this was going to happen, I'd have stayed in my egg. Tuna Otta! Tuna! What are you? Oh, I get it! Aha! Tuna Otta! Soft shell, you're okay. Take me to the water's edge, please. Exactly where I left off. There! I did it! All by myself. Well, almost. Thanks, Octonauts! See you later, Bye -bye. Little guy. Bye. Bye. Congratulations! Good luck out there. Nice work today, Octonauts. Those baby sea turtles are off to a good start. I'm entering the sick bay now. No sign of the converter. Who's there? Uh, hey, let me out of here, you orange. Whatever you are. I'm in the game pod, mateys. Just a volleyball. Cut it out! You just cut it out! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls! Who can throw eight balls at once? I've reached the launch bay. Looks like someone's been down here moving stuff around. Now this is scary. A library with no books. Huh. We must have left one behind. Whoa! Ooh. What on earth? Captain, I saw some attack me with volleyball. Came out of nowhere. Uh, Captain, what are you doing on the floor? Uh, oh, right. Uh, something just grabbed me. We'd better get to the bottom of this. Come in, Shellington. We need help identifying a mysterious creature. <laughs> Certainly, Captain. What can you tell me about it? Well, it's got tentacles. And it can throw eight things at once. And it squirts ink. And it's orange. Hmm. Oh, sounds like a giant Pacific octopus. I agree. My Pacific cousins are the largest species of octopus. And they often make their homes in old abandoned ships. <laughs> well, how about that? I modeled the octopod after the giant Pacific octopus, and now there's one living in it. Yeah, but why did it steal our converter? It was probably just curious. Giant Pacific octopuses are very clever, and they always investigate new things. Hmm. Then maybe we can give it something new to be curious about. 
whistle to get its attention. And then, when it comes to investigate, we'll get our converter. Everybody, into position. Lights out. Jellyfish ahead, Captain. Uh, uh, I see them. Tweak, we're sinking too fast. Any luck with that helicopter hatch? I'm working on it, Cap. Hey, so you look for the sardines. Shellington, the zebrafish. I'll take the lionfish. No sudden moves now. Hey, oh, come here. The zebrafish. Dumping jellyfish. Just one fast. Go. In you go. Hey, hey, hey. Get out of here. Peso, Quasi's been stung. Meet me in the sick bay immediately. Hot water should make the sting feel better, Quasi. <sighs> Aye, it already does. But we're all in hot water if we don't find those pesky, poisonous lionfish. At least the zebra fish are safe. The sardines! We have to get to it before the lionfish do. <sighs> There they are. You handle the sardines, Peso. I'll take care of the lionfish. Just one fast go. Yeah. Oh. The sardines are safe. Just one fast go. Robot <gasps> <gasps> oh, a pot of whales straight ahead. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Tuna. After them. Come on, Louie. Let's swim out of here once and for all. Hey, another good idea, Lily. Captain, the lionfish are heading for the launch bay. Understood. Tweak, the lionfish are heading your way. Is the octo hatch closed? I'll have it closed. Then you can see Bunchy, Munchy, the Crunch Cats. It's closed, Cap. Good work, Tweak. Let's split up and look for them. We never did get our snack. Hey, how about him? Hmm. Captain, we're clear of the whales. And not a moment too soon. Everyone, get ready to flip. <laughs> But plain old kelp in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi, stop that stew! Quasi! Yeah. Octonauts to the kitchen. Jump. Chop. Oil. The last little bit of kelp coming up, mateys. Oh, nowhere to hide. What's pirate for? Don't eat me. Stop that stew. What did you say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. 
I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad. Now, where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gup E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the Guppe! A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp? Kelp? More kelp? Ah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh, no! He's getting away from us! Don't worry. We'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! safe inside the octopod. Only one left. Good work, Peso. The lightning is now right over the last manatee. Oh, dear. Captain, I don't know if we can get her back to the octopod in time. Whoa! I know. It's serious. It's not too late to save her, is it? Yes! It is. No! I mean, we'll rescue the last manatee. Bring the Gup D and the Gup C to the surface, and call me when you get there. Oh. Mm, my air tank is almost empty. I won't be able to breathe down here much longer. Manatees don't usually say this, but hurry, man. Captain, we've arrived at the surface. Good. Now flip the Gupti over and open the windscreen. This will create an air pocket so the manatee can breathe. Then tow it deep underwater, away from the lightning. Aye, Captain. I've got to get my paw out of this clam before I run out of air. Ah. 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 Oh. Can you breathe all right in there? Oh, yeah. This is far out, man. Good. Now let's go. Almost empty. 
plugged in. It worked. The last manatee is safe. <laughs> Captain? <laughs> Captain, are you all right? I'm fine. How are you? I'm cool. This heat is withering me whiskers. How's our patient doing, Peso? He seems fine. Let me get a bit closer. He just tried to chomp me. Don't worry, Peso. Saltwater crocodiles slap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot. It helps them cool off. <laughs> oh, uh, he may start thrashing about as well. Now you tell me. Oh, oh, the beast is going to damage the ship, Captain. If the croc is thrashing because it's too hot, then cooling him off should calm him down. Dashy, lower the octopod temperature, cold as you can get it. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> the cooling plan is working, Captain. The croc is going back to sleep. Octonauts, it's time to enjoy some chilly indoor temperatures. <laughs> Big warm, warm sunlight on a tropical pirate's cove. We just need to keep the octopod cold a bit longer. Once we reach warmer waters, we can return to normal temperature and let the croc wake up naturally. This is an ice way to travel, eh, Quasi? Australia, Captain. The croc's home is just a few miles ahead. Captain, the saltwater crocodile is moving a bit. I think he's waking up. Dashy, you can return the octopod temperature back to normal. We'll leave the octopod here and use the gups to tow the croc the rest of the way. All right, octonauts, let's bring this big fella home. Boy, what's all this? What do you think you're doing? Oh, and easy, we're friends. Here to help. Help? Then why am I tied up? Looks like you're trying to capture me. Nobody captures a salty. <laughs> Octonauts, abandon guts. You can tie me up, but come any closer and I'll chop you down. Please, let us explain how you got here. We found you in the Antarctic. You were lost. And freezing. And so we brought you back here to your home. Yeah. I do remember being lost. Big icebergs everywhere I turned. So cold I couldn't stay awake. Guess you really did help me out. We help all the creatures of the ocean. We're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Salty. Captain, you're just in time. The meteor shower is just starting. There's one. Look. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's a meteor tunic. A meteor is a piece of rock flying through space. When lots of them are in the sky at once, like tonight, it's called a meteor shower. Ooh. Whoa, that one looks like it might be heading this way. Hmm. Occasionally, a meteor will fall to the Earth. Some, well, most in fact, land right in the ocean. Hmm. Then we'd better move the octopod just to be on the safe side. Dashy. Already on it, Captain. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. We're coming in. You got it, Cap. Oh, this looks interesting. What's going on in there? Oh, we're falling fast, Captain. Something's wrong with the octopod's engines. They've completely shut down. Then we'll have to prepare for a crash landing. Octonauts, hold on. Dashy, 
We need to stop the octopod. If I extend and lock the pod arms, it just might wedge us in. Go for it. Is everyone all right? Yes, Captain. Safe and sound. Captain, you're not going to believe this. What is it, Dashie? It's the meteor tracker, Captain. The meteor Quasi saw is about to crash into the ocean, and it's heading straight for us. Dashie, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's a meteor heading our way, and the octopod is stuck. I'll get to work on the engine, Cap. Dashie, how much time do we have? Not long, Captain. In just a few minutes, the meteor will hit the ocean, and then the octopod. <laughs> then we'll have to find some way to move the octopod. I think I found the problem, Cap. Looks like something took a chunk right out of the engine. But don't worry, I'll have it fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunch. Huh? Tweet, what was that noise? I don't know, but now there's another missing chunk. Hmm. Actually, Cap, this could take me a while. There's the Gup E. Hmm. They must be down there. It's up to you now, Dashy. We'll monitor your air tank from here, but you'll have to work fast. I'm on it, Captain. Any sign of Professor Inkling and Quasi? Not yet, Captain, but it's dark down here. Activating searchlight. Bingo! I see them. I'm going in, Captain. We read you, Dashy. Keep us posted. Looks like you two are in a tight spot. Dashy! Don't worry. I'll have you both out of there in no time. <sighs> oh, it's too heavy. Now what? Don't worry, Quasi. This suit has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Activating Jackhammer. One tentacle free, two to go. Well done, Dashy. Now, move the jackhammer to your right and down. I'm still hungry for octopus. Let's swim back slowly. And then we'll open our jaws and... Go! Captain, we've got visitors. Dashy, gulper eels coming up fast. From behind. And they look hungry. Dashy, activate the snack shooter. Great idea, Tweak. Snack time. Food. That should hold him. The second tentacle's out. Just one to go. Mm. Hurry, Dashy. You don't have much air left. Almost there. But this rock's really wedged in. Oh, how about a little octopus ink? That might help me slide it out. Good idea, Professor. I'll take a blast of that too, Professor. I'll lift while you two try to wriggle free. Yeah! Incoming! Oh, my! Keep pulling! I'll take care of the boulders! We did it, Captain. They're both free. Well done. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> That's it. One, two, three. <laughs> huh? Listen. It's a tidal bore. A wave of water from the ocean is moving up the river. And it's moving fast. Everyone hang on to something. Now! Ah, phew. Hmm, that 
wave must have carried me up the river. Octonauts! Can you hear me? Quasi, Peso, anyone, come in. No sign of the gups either. Better check the gup finder on my octo compass. Oh, it must have come loose. I can't see a thing down here. Huh? Hello? Who's there? Hola! Whoa! A dolphin in a river? That's right! I'm a river dolphin! The name's Bertha. I've lived my whole life right here in the Amazon. I'm Captain Barnacles, leader of the Octonauts. And, uh, I seem to have lost my Octo Compass. Hmm. Is it small? Round? Smooth? Yes, but how did you know? Found it for you! Thanks, Berta. You're wondering how I did that, aren't you? <laughs> well, I used the special sounds to find things in the murky water. I, uh, don't suppose you can help me find my crew? We came up the river looking for the hidden city. A hidden city? Here in the Amazon? Oh, this I gotta see! <laughs> Greatest cat pirate who ever lived, my granddad, Calico Jack. Calico Jack. Ooh, good to meet you. Smile. Tis the greatest of pleasures, Octonauts. But now is not the time for talking. We still need to find the hidden city. Come on, mateys. It's just on the other side of this marsh. You mean our marsh? Which we will let you pass through. Thank you for helping us. Come on, everybody. To the hidden city! This must be it. Get ready to feast your eyes on... Where is it? It should be right here. After all that... Wait! The tidal bore must have filled the lagoon with muddy water, and now it's washing back out. Look! Oh, oh shiver me whiskers. Freshwater sponges! Incredible! Well, I guess this is your hidden city, Quasi. You mean there's no treasure? Oh, tis the hunt for the treasure that counts, Quasi. But we've had ourselves a wild one. Yeah, we have, haven't we? Dumping jellyfish. These fish, I've never seen anything like them. Any of them. They're all new species. This really is a treasure. Well done, you two. <laughs> They're beautiful. That's my worst. Well, Quasi, time for me to set sail. Oh, I've spent enough time here in the Amazon. I've got a lot more adventures to have, treasures to find, and swashbuckling to do. <laughs> what say you join me? Me? Go with you? Picture it. Calico Jack and Quasi, together on the seven seas. Granddad, I... Quasi, come and have a look at these fish. There's a really fast one you're going to love. Well, Quasi? <sighs> It would be an honour to set sail with you, Grandad. But there's only one ship I sail on now, and that's the Octopod. The truth is, 
I'll always have the heart of a pirate, but I'm an octonaut now. Yeah, I understand. Tis a hearty crew you've got there, Quasi. You're a good pirate and a brave octonaut. Come on, Pete, get a flap on. Ah! Fare thee well, Quasi. Ah, goodbye. Keep an eye out for me wherever you set sail. Aye, aye, Grandad. Aye, aye. I'm Captain Barnacles. Aye, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.